covering almost 30% of the Earth's land surface, forests are the largest natural resource on Earth. Forests are climate regulators, sequestering large amounts of carbon. Natural sponges of the Earth, forests recharge groundwater and provide fresh water for streams, rivers and lakes. The lifeline of the planet we call home. They're also home to much of the planet's terrestrial biodiversity. India has sizable primary forests that hold natural habitats of amazing animal and plant diversity, found nowhere else on the planet. And the government of India is working hard to maintain them and keep them intact. Despite high population pressures, India has maintained 24% of its land area as forest and tree cover. But heavy biotic pressure, forest fires, growth of invasive species, pest outbreaks and droughts continuously threaten the ecological health of India's forests, creating a direct impact on the livelihoods of millions of people, especially the poorest communities dependent on forests. The need is for a sustainable forest ecosystem that has the capacity to absorb and contain carbon, control erosion and drive a vibrant water system. In India, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, and the Government of India, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, came together with a collaborative program the Partnership for Land Use Science, or Forest Plus. Forest Plus is working in four landscapes across India. Shivamoga in Karnataka, Hoshangabad in Madhya Pradesh, Rampur in Himachal Pradesh, and in Sikkim. The program works with forest officials and local communities to manage, restore, and protect their forests. One major challenge for effective forest management and emissions is unsustainable fuel wood extraction. In Himachal Pradesh, community solar panels have been installed in the village. This has led to a great decrease in use of fuel wood for heating water. Forest dependent communities need sustainable livelihood alternatives. Mushroom farming as an alternate source of livelihood has been introduced to reduce pressure on the forests. Mushroom ka sabse zyada kyunki isme matlab logon ko bahut fayda hone wala tha na jaise pehle lagana bas ek saal mein sirf ek baar lagao fir itni matlab puri saal fasal lete raho usse ye sabse badi baat thi matlab zyada mehnat bhi nahi hai isme aur acche se ho jata hai aur uske baad jadi bootiyan apni ghar mein hi ugana hai wo bhi sabse badi baat hai तो जंगलों पे ज़्यादा डिपेंड नहीं रह सकते हैं मतलब अच्छा लगता है कि जंगल को बचा के रखें हम भविष्य के लिए इन द हिली रेंजेस ऑफ सिक्किम मंग्स फॉर क्लाइमेट एन इनिशिएटिव डेवलप्ड इन कोलैबोरेशन विद द रूमटेक मोनिस्ट्री इज वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स कम्बैटिंग क्लाइमेट चेंज मंग्स हैव अ ग्रेट इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द कम्युनिटी एंड कैन बिकम एजेंट्स ऑफ चेंज आई थिंक दिस काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस I think we all the monks should have, and uh, it was very successful because all the monks they knew what is a climate change, and through that what we need to do. To restore the degraded patches of forests around the monastery, regular plantation drives to plant endemic species are organized. As part of the project, we've now built a steering committee, which is led by the chief secretary of the state. This steering committee includes about ten departments. All departments, from planning to animal husbandry to horticulture to uh, rural development to buildings, all of these departments have come together to think of ways in which they can together reduce pressure on Sikkim's forests. In Madhya Pradesh, a focus of the program is on improved institutional and governance frameworks, aided by new monitoring technologies. Under the Forest Plus program. 
selected farm and agroforestry models have been demonstrated in the field and a system is being put in place for sustainable tree plantations. Communities are encouraged to increase forest areas by growing trees on fallow village and panchayat lands. Agroforestry practice has led to the collective efforts by farmers to grow commercially viable trees around their agricultural land. Initially, uh, short term income is very important. It's very important to have a short term income. It's very important to have a short term income. It's very important to have a short term income. It's very important to have a short term income. It's very important to have a short term income. In Shivamoga, where local communities depend on the Garcinia as a major revenue generator, community-based dryers have been introduced and set up under the Forest Plus program through a partnership model with the Forest Department and joint forest management committees. These energy-efficient dryers have led to almost 90% reduction in use of fuel wood. At a national level, Forest Plus is also leading communications program to increase awareness, understanding and action for natural resource conservation and climate change mitigation. Along with communication programs, innovative modern tools for forest monitoring are being co-developed by the team with counterparts in India. One such tool is Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR. SAR is a great example of how we can catalyze co-development of uh, innovative tools and technologies on Forest Plus. So SAR is Synthetic Aperture Radar. This is a new tool that can penetrate cloud cover, give us structural information about multi-canopy forests, which is required in Indian conditions. And on Forest Plus, we were able to bring together a group of Indian and American scientists to pull together the first open source model to take that SAR data and make it accessible to Indian foresters. And we can also take that same data and pull it into our forest data management system, uh, which allows us to easily report, verify, and uh, make actionable decisions based on that data. So I think it's a great example of how we can, we can pull together a lot of great information on Forest Plus. Forest Plus has built capacity for community members and forest officers on global climate change, forest inventory, and a holistic approach to forest management. The program has trained more than 8,000 persons already. Through forest ecosystem management, communication and training programs, and by promoting institutional and community governance, the program has reached out to more than 1 million people across the country. Sustainability of forests, equilibrium of the ecosystems is crucial for all life for the future of human beings and the planet. Approaches tested and proven by Forest Plus are a substantial step on the path to the healthy productive ecosystems India and the world require. If scaled up, they will contribute to the bright future we all desire for our children and our planet. <laughs>